Wager Talk. My name is Minty. You can find me on Twitter at Minty Betts. Today I'm joined with by uh, Teddy Covers at Teddy underscore Covers and Ralph Michaels at Cal Sports LV. Today we're going to wrap up the top 25 with number 25, Stanford. Teddy, tell me what you think about Stanford. I know the season win total is seven. Do you think it's too high, too low? Well, you don't often see when you're doing a top 25 preview a team with a win total of seven. And in fact, there's money on the under seven. You, know, you have to lay a, a juice on the Stanford under, which tells you that they're not a top 25 team. I mean, there's no freaking way. Um, David Shaw's ninth season. Yeah, they have a returning quarterback in uh, KJ Costello, but they lose four starting offensive linemen. The defense has noticeably declined in each of the last two seasons. They've given up 405 yards per game and 410 yards per game. That's the worst two uh, seasons in the Shaw era. They can't sell tickets. You know, this was they were selling out a couple years ago. Now they're oh, how do we how do we sell tickets? And when you look at this schedule for the Stanford Cardinal in 2019, you realize very clearly this is not a team that's going to be a top 25 team at the end of the year. In fact, this might be the only time we talk about Stanford as a top 25 team. Well, I agree with Teddy. That's I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Minty, I put up my power ratings at wagertalk.com and the report last week. I have Stanford as my number 38 team. I went through my power ratings. I played out the schedule. I have Stanford as my number five toughest schedule. When you're playing nine conference games like the Pac-12 does, and then you also have Northwestern at UCF and Notre Dame to round out a conference schedule, that just shows you there's no cupcakes in the mix. You talked about the returning starters. Last year, they had 15 returning starters back. What did those 15 starters do? Well, if you look at the record, the record shows they went 6-3 and three in the Pac-12. They were outgained in conference play. 15 returning starters outgained in conference play. Nine returning starters this year lose their top three receivers, lose three O-line, r- lose four of their top six tacklers, eight of their top 13. It leaves a lot of holes to fill. And while Bryce Love was not Bryce Love last year, Teams still had a plan for him because they didn't know how hurt he could do, how hurt he was, and what he could do. So I completely agree with Teddy. I think this is a team that might just find themselves having a losing record because when you go through a stretch of Northwestern at USC, at UCF, Oregon, and then Oregon State's your only week game, and even that game, Oregon State's off a bye and you're not, and then you have Washington – one or two losses can turn into a one and four Spiral. stretch. So, uh, completely agree. Completely overrated. Won't be in the top 25 again. Could be out with an upset loss to Northwestern and never see it again the rest of the year. Mm-hmm. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. Nine dollar Monday at Wager Talk and all daily packages for Monday's action are only nine dollars, including any five percent best bets normally priced at thirty dollars. <laughs>